To apply Cauchy's integral formula on some contour integral, we need f of z to be analytic everywhere. But what if we can't find such a function? Then we change the problem. We can either rewrite c or rewrite the integrand. For example, let's consider this integral, where our path is the circle of radius 2 centered at the origin. We note the integrand will fail to be analytic where the denominator is 0, so solving so the bad places are at z equal to plus or minus i. But the Cauchy integral formula only allows for one bad place. So let's rewrite our contour. The upper half circle h with detour d back to the start only includes one bad place. If we go along negative d and take the lower half circle l, we complete the path c. So our contour can be written as h plus d minus d plus l and h plus d negative d plus l are contours that only include one bad point. So let h plus d be the upper half circle and negative d plus l be the lower half circle. The additivity of the integral allows us to rewrite our integral as since the only bad point in h plus d is z equal to i, we want to find f of z where our integrand is f of z over z minus i. Since c squared plus 1 is z minus i times z plus i, we can rewrite, and comparing the two sides gives us f of z. Consequently, this first integral will be Similarly, the only bad point in negative d plus l, the lower half circle, is z equals negative i, so we can rewrite our integrand as, and we find and so the value of the integral is 0, and we did all this work for nothing. Now in math, there's often more than one way to solve a particular problem, so as an alternative, we could find the partial fraction decomposition of our integrand, which will be... And so our integral will be... And now both integrals only contain one bad point. So for the first integral, the bad point is at z equals negative i, so we'll use f of z one-half i, which gives us, and remember, 1 half i is a constant, so when you evaluate it at any point, you get 1 half i. For the second integral, the bad point is at z equal to i, and so we'll use f of z is negative 1 half i, and again we find, And we find that this time our integral has a value of 0, which is good because that's the value we got the previous time. 